Blog Talk Radio. Join us for the Piton Film Festival, September 5th and 6th. The Piton Film Festival will showcase Lucian and international films, as well as provide educational workshops for youth, adolescents, and adults. For more information about the Piton Film Festival, go to www.sihglobal.org. That's www.sihglobal.org. We'll see you at the Piton Film Festival. Welcome to Blog Radio. Welcome to Speaking to Harmony. And today is Wednesday, so you know we're doing a very special show where we're going to highlight the Piton Film Festival, what, is, what's, what it is about. We're going to bring some filmmakers up. We're going to bring some musicians up. All the good stuff that's happening in St. Lucia right now that's going to be happening because next week is Piton Week. Ha <laughs> ha, that's right. If you're not in St. Lucia, well, oh well, okay. You got you to catch the replay on, 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 um, on, on our YouTube channel and OVTV and, oh yeah, and Real TV. We got Real TV now. Check that out. Anyhow, well, we have some special guests for you tonight. Very special guests. We're going to jump around a little bit. We're going to go down to Brazil. Then from Brazil, we're going to go to St. Lucia. And then we're going to stay in St. Lucia also for another special guest after that special guest. So, you know, pull your chair up, call a friend, tell your friend what's going on. We will love to have them join us to call in and ask some questions. So let's do this. Let's go down to Brazil, okay? When you're jumping all over the world, your time just goes woof, out the window because you're just jumping and flying over and say, hey, you better adjust to me. I'm not adjusting to you. So this week we got him on. We have Brother Mario Luna. He's down in Brazil. He's going to be, I'm bringing his mic. I'm going to welcome to speak into Harmony because, I mean, you know, he's a filmmaker. And like I said, this is about, we're going to be highlighting filmmakers as we go across the globe because um, we, have a, I have a, we have a plan. We have a plan. We have a plan. So, Brother Mario, can you hear me? Welcome, welcome. How can, can you hear me? Yes, I can, Ed. How are you? I am doing well. Welcome to Speak Into Harmony, the Piton Film Festival of, um, update. Um, it's good to finally catch up to you. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Good. Thank you for having me on the show. Well, you know, it's a pleasure having you on the show because, you know, this show, um, the Piton Film Festival update, which is going to morph, which is going to change after September 7th, is going to change to the Piton, um, reg- a regular Piton Film um, Festival show. So this show is about where we're going to highlight the business of filmmaking from in front of the okay. camera to behind the camera. So the, the actors, the, the filmmakers, the um, directors, the producers, the musicians, you know, all the stuff that happens when you, all the stuff that happens when you make a film. We're going, to, we're going to inform our community because when we say it's a billion-dollar business, we have, we have to let them understand why is it a billion-dollar business, you know, because it touches so many parts of a community when it comes in from the food to the makeup, the clothes, and everything like that. So we came down to, we came down to Brazil, so you could tell, a little, you could tell the family a little bit about you and what you're doing in Brazil. I, I didn't know they made movies in Brazil, man. Well, actually, yes, I, I, I make a movie, but as an amateur, I'm not a professional. Actually, I started cinema some years ago, a couple of decades ago. Uh, we were going through about difficult times in film producing in Brazil. At the time, uh, the president closed the only one uh, institution who could produce films. So it was very difficult at the time to produce films. Then I took out the way, but never lost the love for, for making film or for make, filmmaking. Then uh, a couple of years ago, then I bought a camera and decided to start all over again by uh, making movies on my own. And, um, you know, um, I'm more uh, interested in, in making films that educate people. Mm-hmm. And this, this film I just uh, submitted to the Pit Film Festival. Is, I actually submitted two films, one documentary and one short film. Um, the, the documentary is about a very common phenomenon called, uh, and in the United States is very, very well known as sleep paralysis. Okay. This, this is a very common phenomenon. It's, it's thought to ha- happen to 60% of people all over the world. The majority of people have experienced the phenomenon, but there is um, two, uh, I'm going to say that, um, two point of views when you go through or sleep paralysis. One is physical, because sleep paralysis happens when the brain stops for a while. When we're going through 
the REM stage of sleep. This is a common thing the brain does every night when we sleep. Every time we go to reach the REM state, the brain um, sends a message to the body to paralyze because it needs to rework the body, the cells and neurotransmitters and everything. So it's a kind of reconstruction of the body. Otherwise, you wouldn't feel rested when we w w wake up. Okay, so, okay. This is a common thing that happens, and uh, we don't usually wake up during the process of paralysis um, set from the brain, okay? So, but as I said, lots of people wake up during the moment the, the brain is, the body is paralyzed, and then we have one perception from, from the body, which is, this sense, the, the sensation of paralyzation. You cannot move, you are unable to speak, unable to move. This is a very uh, frightening thing. But actually we have to talk about out-of-body projection because we project the, the, the energetic body outside the physical body every night as well. Okay, well let's... Let's, let's, okay. do, let's do something about it. That's interesting. I'm, I'm listening to you at the very interesting topic. So this is one of your movies you submitted. So let's do this. Um, as we're talking, I know people are listening all over the world. Right. Let's, let's give them your website so they could go to your website and they could check some, or your Facebook page so people could look at what you're talking about as we're, as we're talking about it. Okay. I, I've got a website. Well, actually, not a website. I've got a um, YouTube channel, um, which is Mario Luna. Uh, but I will... Um, give also uh, websites for more information about uh, energies, bioenergies, out of body projections, and so on, which is www.iipc.org. I, I don't think it, we have .com, but .org. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Yes, there's a plenty of information about this. In case any, anybody who is or may be listening to us at the moment uh, may uh, have had it. So uh, in case the person wants to get further information about this, then can go to this website. Uh, it's in Portuguese, but actually now we have the Google Translator, which can help people to understand. That, that's right, www.iipc dot org okay. and um okay so what let me ask you a question so what made you make a movie about this i mean there's so many topics but why made you why did you pick that one topic to make a movie about right that's a very good question well actually i volunteer to this institute i i teach uh there as well and i've been uh, into uh researching on this area for quite a long time and i've heard lots of people complaining about having these sorts of things during the night, which is quite frightening, terrifying, um, as long as you don't have information about it. So it may be really frightening when you don't know what's going on. When people um, have this kind of experience and, 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 and do not have any kind of information, this is terrible. So w once you have the information, you see that this is a natural phenomenon. This is a benign phenomenon. There's nothing wrong about this, but uh, once you know it, then w when you have it, things are much easier to go through. And to, um, uh, on the contrary, you should take advantage of this kind of phenomenon to know our, our what we call multidimensional reality, which is not only physical. We are not only this physical body. We are, we are, we have energetic bodies as well, and a life outside the body. Lots of people have been through auto-body experiences, and, and this is what is that, because um, the point of view, the material point of view, is, is very um, erroneous to analyze what the phenomenon really is. Okay. So you must, you must understand this multidimensional reality, and the documentary actually shows that. Don't be afraid. This is quite normal. You are not being... Because um, although lots of people have been through it, th the thing is that not everyone um, tells anybody that they have been through this kind of phenomenon because it's crazy. Mm -hmm. People so, would never understand that. So let me ask you a question. So now is, is the documentary in English or Portuguese or both or subtitles? 
actually, I made two versions. Uh, there is an original version in Portuguese. I subtitled the other one. Uh, the, the one I submitted to the festival is in English. Okay, okay. No, no, because I'm asking, as, I, as I'm listening to you, since it's, it's something that happened all over the world, it seems like, you know, you, you have a couple of different um, um, language versions of the same movie. I, I always do that, Eddie, because, you know, as I told you, I want to make films to educate people in some, especially in paranormal uh, area, which is called paranormal, I call it parapsychism, because all of us, well, independently on whether you believe it or not, things happen. The, both reality exists at the same time. And we sometimes do not know that. And we get totally mind-boggling about this. This must be um, horrible. I personally have experiences on sleep paralysis when I was a teenager. And that frightened me a lot. I was in panic every time it happened. Because at the time, I had no idea what it was. So uh, um, when I see people saying that they have been through this kind of experience and they don't have any kind of information. For me, it's like going back to those days where I myself had the experience of not having information and I can feel the panic of this person. So that's the reason why I decided to make the documentary, to tell people, hold on, this is not a monster, you're not an alien, uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Once you know, you can control it. This is the most important thing. It's the control. You can control your fear. You can uh, make the most of the experience. You can learn with the experience. And it and, and, and turns out that it's really, really an amazing and unique opportunity to know our uh, multidimensional reality and learn from that. Because we are much more involved with the energies or bioenergies than with the physical stuff. So that's the reason why I decided to make the movies. I also made one um, uh, last year about ectoplasm, which is, is a kind of energy, it's a material energy used in spiritual surgery. So, and then I come up with this one, um, auto body paralysis, because I think it, it's important to, to give this information to people so that they can be... Um, okay with the phenomenon since it's really really common okay okay um since you're, i'm listening to you talking so your two movies it sounds it sounds like they, they're not normal so-called normal movies and um, I, I know you said you teach at the, the university and you know you, you you did a lot of research since seems like you did a lot of research in these in this topic so right. after the move yes see, so after the movies after the research, <laughs> right. what, what, have, what have you come up with? What has, what, <laughs> I'm, I'm interested to hear where, how you feel about it now after doing all the movies and the research. About the research on, on, what, on what movie? On the first one, Out of, on the Out of Body. Well, um, uh, um, how long have I had been researching for that? Is yeah. That one? Well, um, one year and a half, I, I think. So... Oh. Yes, around that, and um, um, on on the internet as well. Then I made contact with some people who had produced videos talking about that. I contacted these people, and I asked them to for the authorization to, to use the image because I I make non-commercial movies, so it makes things things easier when you have to deal with you know those producers and say okay I'm like, I'm making a non-production. Um, no commercial movie. So I'd like to use your 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 report on this on this video uh, in my documentary. So I had I had the luck to have a good response from from people. Uh, they authorized the use of the images, and so I actually compiled um, uh, some some videos I had seen on, on the internet to okay. make. And also I um, interviewed um, specialists on, on on the subject as well. But actually, it's a compilation of, of videos. And that's that. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Okay. Okay. That, I mean, I'm listening to you talking. It sounds like, you know, you are, um, pers you have a, you're persistent because your topics are not a normal pro um, topics. And it seems that they'll have you thinking about your art. For me, it makes me start thinking about my sleep. Uh, well, if my, if, if my, um, my body reboots when I sleep, 
that's right. Basic, that's basically what you're saying. Your body's rebooting what you, when you sleep. Yeah, that's right. Um, what what, what happened? He said doing the reboot. If if we wake up doing the reboot, hmm. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. If, if you wake up during this reboot, then you have just to relax. This is one thing. Uh, what happens, Ed, is that when you find yourself totally paralyzed, this is really crazy. You are unable to speak, you are unable to move, you can just roll your eyes. So this is really strange. This is not a common thing that, because we lose the reference, because here in our physical existence, we, we, we don't usually go through things like that. So it's difficult to deal with uh, when we have such a thing during the night. So. The, the best thing to do is just if you find yourself in such a state, state, you just have to relax and have a deep breath and try to, to move one of the fingers or tool. So it, it makes the brain stop the polarization. Then it makes, you know, it stops the phenomenon. I myself don't stop the phenomenon. And I'm telling you this because I still have the phenomenon. And today, I don't try to stop it. I like, I like to learn with that. I, I just l let it go on. I, I just, you know, I, I'm there just watching and, and have, because we, we, are, we are aware of everything. We are, our mind is working perfectly. You can think, you can decide, you, can, you have the, the master, you, you can master your control during the phenomenon. Today when I have this, this phenomenon, I just let it go. Let it go and try to see what happens and try to learn with that because, it's, as, I, as I told you, this is a very unique opportunity for, for everyone to know how we act, how our energies work when we are outside the body. So this is another reality that we should learn with and it's a very important reality. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, listen, uh, it sounds it sounds like a very interesting movie. How, what's, what has been the feedback um, from the movie so far? Very good. I have been emailed uh, lots of uh, mass, good messages about the movie. The movie was released uh, exactly uh, one month ago, and we have already four thousand uh, viewing in, on, on YouTube. So um, that that's amazing. I was not expecting to have so many people watching the, the movie on YouTube. So 4,000 for me is a, a big number. Okay, <laughs> I, okay. I, I, must, I must say that. Um, and then I, uh, well, people have, yes, have said very good things about the, the, the film and, and, and some of them have had the, the, the phenomenon and, um, and thanks for the information. And I think it's very important to know because um, as I told you, not knowing what's going on is much, much more difficult to deal with the phenomenon. And once you know what's going on, wh what is it, and why it's happening, so you can master control, you can master the fear, and have the most of it, okay. have the best. Well, wonderful. Well, Mary, I, I see, I, I see we, we're coming down to the um, half hour, and... Um, uh, what I want you to do is uh, give your um, give your web give your give your websites again so that way people can find you on um, on YouTube. They can find your information, find your your movies and stuff like that. Well, the easiest way is um, give my Facebook uh, because I have I have blogs as well. But the Facebook is, is the best thing to to contact me. Then I can uh, give all the websites. I have got a website, but I, I haven't had time to update it. So. My Facebook is Mario Luiz de Sá. The Mario M A R I O L U I Z D E S A. This is my Facebook. Then, if the person wants to contact me, so or can send me an email, which is the same Mario Luiz de Sá at yahoo dot com dot br. Okay. 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 Um. <clears throat> excuse me. Okay. Well, that's that. Now we have that information out there on you. We have we have your, your you submit your films to the film festival. Um. We're gonna see what what happens with the with the final list. I I do believe it's coming out today, and we'll 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 hopefully we'll see something we'll see something about it in St. Lucia. If we don't, we 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 gonna have some fun with you anyway because I, I have I was looking at the one uh, one of them for a bit. I was kind of busy and I sat down and watched it. And I was like, hmm. I think I need I need to focus on this film a little bit more. 
<laughs> so, <Yeah>. um... <laughs> oh, Ed, let, let, let me say something. I, I volunteered in an institute here in Brazil, uh, which is called uh, International Institute of Projectology and Constantiology. The website I gave in the beginning of the, our talk was www.iipc.org. Org. This is an institute specialized in, on, on the research um, on bioenergies and all the multidimensional reality. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's about two new sciences called projectology uh, that is specialized in out-of-body projections. I know that in the United States have lots of, lots of people who have been through this kind of phenomenon and uh, who are interested in knowing more about this. And conscientiology, with the study of the conscience in a, in a whole way, uh, I mean, uh, physical and extra physical. So, in case anyone is interested in knowing more about that, uh, can can go to this website and try to um, translate. I suggest that the person just use a Google translator to know exactly what's in the on this website. Okay. 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 Well, that sounds that that sounds like something. We, um, definitely, I, I I thank you for the information. Um, I'm listening to you talking, and I watch, like I said, I watched some of one of the movies already. It's very, very interesting topic you have there. Very interesting topic. Go ahead. Mm. Uh, completely different movies. Have you, uh, Main Ray is a short film I also submitted, and Main Ray is a 100% different kind of film. Okay. Yeah, yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is. Yes, I saw. I saw some of that one. I was like going back and forth. I saw some of that. I was like, hmm. Yeah. Let, I, was, I, was like, I was like, what is Mario doing here to me? <laughs> That's right. Let me say something about that, so people don't think I'm crazy. Okay. Just. Uh, yeah, just sure, we, yeah. Sure. Please, yeah. Say something. About, we have. We have about two minutes left. In the, yeah. We have about two All minutes right. left. Uh huh. Yeah. Actually, main rate. Well, I'm also an artist. You know. Uh, and then I was I was watching DVD, which is a compilation of avant-garde movies, um, French avant-garde movies. Then w when I saw w when I was watching that, I, I I I just realized that I'd like to make a film completely different, you know. Then I got the idea of making a film to explore actually the possibilities of my editing skills um, by making a film in which I could feel free to soar in art, essentially. And May Ray is is a good motive for that. Uh, he's a so realistic artist, a painter, a sculptor, a filmmaker, and a photographer. And um, the work was basically to reinterpret uh, his art according to my reading of surrealism, which opened a huge door to creativity. That was an amazing work because I could do something completely different and work this state of art, you know, like uh, being in something totally different. That was challenging and at the same time very pleasant. Okay, okay, that, mm, that sounds interesting. Yeah, I mean, I, I, like I said, when I, when I was watching it, I was like, mm, this, I, okay, okay, I, let, me see what, let me see what Mario is up to now. I felt like I felt like I knew you for like a whole bunch, a long time watching that one because I was like, boy, I, I felt like I, was, like I was inside your head there for a second. Oh, yes, well, you, you should wait for the next film next year. Oh. Uh, I have already, I have already decided what to do, and my next dream will be about peace. Peace, peace like, in the world. We need peace, Ed. Okay. Well, you know, I'm not going to argue. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not going to argue on that one. That is definitely peace. something we, we definitely as, need. As, as John Lennon used to say, give peace a chance. Yes. I, I, like I said, I'm not. Gonna, I'm not going to argue with you on that one. We definitely need that. But I, I'll see. Our time with you are, is up. I'd like to thank you for joining us tonight. Um, it's you. good to hear you talk about the movies, and we definitely will, will be talking to you some more in, in the days and months to come. Right. Good. Yeah. Thank you for having the show once more. I say that's a great opportunity to be talking about the movies. And, uh, well, I hope that I'm in the festival. Yep. So let's wait and see. Yes, wait and see. Let's wait and see what, what, the, what, the, selective, what the select committee does. Yep. Okay. Good. Okay. Thank well, you, Ed. You have a wonderful evening. Okay. Thank you. Same. Okay, okay bye. Bye. Well, family, that was Brother Mario Luna calling us live from Brazil. And it was good to have him on. We're going we gonna to stay down south, per se. We're going to go from Brazil and go a little bit to the, go, not a little bit, a whole bunch to the east. But before we do that, I got a, I got commercials. I got commercials. Yes, I do. <laughs> and I got music. I'm going to play this commercial for you. What? Okay. Yeah.
join Sisters in Harmony and Opulence TV as we present New Discovery at the Patone Peaks. New Discovery is calling all singers, rappers, performers, television, music, video, and film producers to compete to have their self-produced show distributed on Opulence TV. Register early for $15 U.S. Space is limited. You must pre-register at www.opcoach.tv. That's www.oppcoach.tv. New Discovery looks to discover you.